Well, I'm here this morning with Ian and we're looking at some of the uh, landscaping that's taken place around the new road connection uh, on the Eastern Link. Last year I think we had over 5,000 plants that were put in place including uh, some of the iconic poplars to maintain that uh, historic connection down Causeway Road um, but also importantly a lot of native plants that have gone in there and a lot of water wise gardening and, and other, uh, other planting that's happened. So what's on the agenda for this winter Ian, during the planting season? So stage one of the process now is going to be uh, the landscaping of the new roundabouts and the central medians of the Eastern Link. Um, and that's going to comprise about two and a half thousand plants. And the idea really is to create that soft, gentle feel coming into a small rural country town. Um, the road is obviously working really well. And it's just to keep that same atmosphere that we've always had. Yeah, so a very local project. We've uh, had the design of that done in-house by Bruce Thomas, our landscape architect. Uh, a lot of local suppliers. Um, the plants predominantly come from Geograph Nursery. That's right, yeah, there's a, a local nurseries that provided a lot of the plants, uh, including the local grass trees. Um, we sourced uh, rocks and boulders for the roundabouts uh, locally as well, and all the labels locally. Should look a treat by the springtime, looking forward to seeing how it all turns out. It'll be about a four or five week program. There will be a bit of disruption to the traffic, just temporarily, um, but hopefully by uh, yeah, the coming spring it looks beautiful. So, um, just a heads up, we may be closing a portion of the Eastern Link, the Camilleri Street collection there to do some uh, some essential works, but hopefully just for a day. Yeah, yeah, just uh, days at a time, um, as earthworks first, then irrigation, uh, and then planting. Oh good, well, it should be fantastic.